And if you don't recognise that beautiful mare, she's in foal. Typhoon Tracy, one of my all-time favourites, and the boys at Vinery sent me that little picture. She's in foal to more than ready. What do you reckon the uh, over-under on that foal is going to be worth? Yeah, well, depending on the market, I'd say at least a million, million and a half over-under. Yeah, just uh, in uh, Michael Felgate's uh, region, I would suggest. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't be able to afford a hair on its tail, but uh, gee, you'll be mouth warning to see uh, those ones go through the Easter sales in a, in a year or two. OK, this segment is called What's Doing Quinny? Because uh, he is such a superstar of the Twitter landscape. Uh, even Jared Daffy, one of our all-time mates, doesn't your show have a wardrobe department in relation to the Quinster suits? And I do have to ask, I know what uh, wins are not and a double wins are not, as I do have to ask, what is that not uh, currently around your neck, Quinny? Jeez, oh, we're done well. We're up to what the third or fourth segment, and the, uh, the 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 suits finally come into play. So, geez, it mustn't have been as bad as recent weeks, lads. There's been a, a plethora of tweets that have been sent to us. This is stuff that you've been spotted in and around Melbourne wearing. Uh, that one looks like a wedding suit. I'm not really very sure. dapper there. Very very dapper. Here's another one. <laughs> Outstanding. There's a it's lot a, of ladies. A bit of a that, trench coat. There. There's a lot of ladies. Oh, there, you, Justin Bieber look alike <laughs> there as well. Uh, I'm not sure why you've created such a... Uh, do you send out little retweets saying, look at me, look at me, uh, Quinny? <laughs> the one thing I don't do is ever try and bring attention upon myself for fashion, so uh, I'm innocent there. The best thing about those uh, stills was he, his head. He looked like one of those dogs you see in the back of the car window with the, the bobbing head, the big head on those suits there. I've it got was to very, say, uh, very attractive, Quinny, wasn't it? There's a young uh, girl called Hayley Deary who seems to have a, uh, a little uh, twinkle in her eye for the Quinster and she suggested that it's time for a haircut and lose the stripes and uh, checks. And a nice black suit never goes astray. Sometimes less is more, Quinny. So you're getting advice from at least some experienced people. Yeah, I love the fact you've created a monster now, so every attractive girl thinks it's going to be great to just pot me via Twitter knowing you're going to read it out. I do attractive. know. Oh, there's a few tickets there. <laughs> I do know <laughs> that the there's, been, ones, Quinny. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, spottings of you going in and out of a certain uh, uh, hairdressing salon in Chapel Street just to, uh, you know, we retweak things every Sunday afternoon. <laughs> do I have to waste my breath responding? The hair hasn't changed yeah. in... 25 years. <laughs> Please. I'm sending some up to Sydney for Brenny Boy. <laughs> OK. Um, Michael, uh, let's have a look at your uh, horse yesterday. Uh, you are a little bit upset. Oh. Uh, you sent me the Do text and the Can email. Can we move on from this as well? And the capital <laughs> letters are correct. Did you any did any of you see the horse I part-owned at Bendigo today beaten a mill and the trainer asked to look at the print? Win only and one out in the quaddy story of my life, <laughs> Michael Felgate. I don't think I need to say anything more. So uh, all of that stuff about driving the uh, Mercedes and BMW, as you can see, Russ, just a man like yourself in the street with no money. Did you I detect some giggling as well? Do you think that Russ is taking a little bit of joy out of our misery? Mm. Well, he, no, told, he's a, he, he told me to back it I told each you way. To back it. Yeah, each way. Yeah, but you I said. didn't follow my own advice. <laughs> it was actually a bit unlucky, I thought. Needed just another metre, it would have won. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's all right. It's all right. The first thing I did this morning was wake up, turn on TVN, and which race do you think that they happen to be <laughs> oh, replayed? Doesn't that happen all the time? <laughs> Try the protest mm. hearing on Takeover Target. It still gets around. <laughs> I've demanded that it gets taken off air, but they just leave it up there just to give me the dirts. Oh, well, it's not, it's, I'm sure there's plenty of people that backed honour in war that day that'd be have celebrating you, the. Have uh, you ever owned a horse? Me? Uh, no, but I've got a greyhound with uh, Quinny that goes all right. Oh, there you go. We, it must oh. goes all right. What have you yeah, sent yeah, me a text? It goes all right. What's Anything to report there for any boy? Yeah, he ran third at uh, Richmond on Saturday night, a blando. But uh, <laughs> don't spend watch, that... watch him in a 600 coming up shortly. Don't spend that $25 prize money <laughs> too hard. Uh, uh, this one came on the website uh, and on the Twitter at TBN TTYK from Scott Olsen. Apart from Atlantic Jewel, Kavanaugh horses who start well back faves at $3 or less have an atrocious record today. No difference. Talking through his kick. Well, I don't have the stats here to say uh, whether that's right or wrong, but uh, Mark Kavanaugh is certainly a very good trainer and I wouldn't be uh, potting any sources that were under $3 if I liked them, so... I, I can't see uh, much truth to that. Quinny obviously fell into the $7.50 instalment and was giggling on uh, Saturday morning. 
yeah, well, as we touched on, installment was very heavily backed and very disappointing. Uh, Mark Cavanagh is a fantastic trainer, but there has been a few little instances like this lately where he has had runners that have been well backed and beaten. So uh, I'm sure Scott's been on a couple of them. So hopefully Cav's getting all the losers out of the way before the spring carnival and it's just all honey and milk for the punters. Oh, I did uh, just get a, something in me ear saying, is there a suggestion that you have two Twitter accounts and one of them is Scott Olsen? <laughs> <laughs> good, good, Take, good response. Take a break here on Talking Through Your Kick. We'll have a look at the sport and how do you pick a winner in the NRL. That's all coming up next.